All right, I'm sure this individual's left this comment on another video, so you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and answer this question. Do I believe in karma? The answer is no. I don't believe karma is some sort of mystical force that balances out the universe. People who do bad, bad things will happen to them. I just think, let's say for example, if you're running around stabbing people and shooting, well, things are bad, things are gonna happen to you because there's more than likely people that are gonna wanna get you back for what you've done to other people. But it's not to do with some sort of um, divine or some mystical force. And I put it this way, a man could stab up and shoot up a million people on planet Earth. If he moved to Mars, he'd be cool. You understand what I'm trying to say? Yeah, there's no one to get him back and that. So I don't believe karma happens to bad people because they do bad things and that. Bad things happen to good people as well. So what's that then? Yeah? Obviously, if you do good, more than likely you'll be rewarded as well. But it's, I mean, there's a lot of bad people that good things happen to them as well. So I don't believe in karma. But obviously, I've seen certain instances of that where, like, I'm like, yeah, that, that's instant karma. Well, I didn't even say it. My girl said it. The other day, um, I must have took my girl to my flat to do some cleaning, yeah? So um, we stopped off at McDonald's and I was just buying a cheeseburger. So boom. So man's pulled up. Imagine you've got two pay points in that where you order, yeah? At the McDonald's drive through I've gone in the left lane and I'm ordering her cheeseburger. Some girl's pulled up next to me in a Toyota. So I've placed my order and I've gone forward a little bit, but there was a car that was kind of like in front of me or whatever. So anyway, she's placed her order and then she's gone now. So really and truly, I place my order first. So really and truly, I'm the one that has priority in that. Yeah? Anyway, I've looked to my right. This girl's looked at me. I just looked away in it, carried on on my phone, talking to my girl in it. Then boom, when it's coming time to move, I've seen the cars ahead start going. So I'm like, okay, cool, boom, put it in first gear, getting ready to move off now. I look to my right just to make sure the girl knows that I'm going in front. This girl's just looked at me, waved like, oh yeah, thanks. And then just drove. I'm like, what the fuck? Man's beating my horn now, ain't it? Blood, you know what, yeah, I'm sitting in my car thinking, nah, blood, I should go and take a bottle and dash out this girl's car, you know. But I thought, you know what, if this girl gets out and throws this bottle back at my car, I'm going to finish off the job. I don't business, yeah. So I thought, you know what, she ain't ready for the smoke because I will take it to that level. Man, woman, child, I don't give a fuck, blood. So I thought, you know what. I'm, I'm too rich for this shit, yeah, to be getting in mad dramas with people, man. Because this is what's going to happen, yeah, people, whether it's man or girl, they act like they're tough. You smack them up and brush them up, and then they want to snitch on you and be talking in court. And I've had it before. I had a little road rage situation and that. Um, yeah, I instigated the situation and that, but I've got back in my car, the person's pulled up to me talking shit. I dashed um, a bottle of hand sanitizer at this guy's car. He drove ahead. Pulled up, got out of the car, he approached me, I one banged him and then kicked him in his ass when he was on the floor, yeah, when I dropped him. You know, yeah, after that, yeah, the guy starts snitching and it's like, blood, you got out of your car, pulled up your trousers, took off your sunglasses. I know what that means. Man's been in bare fifty up, fifty up with man in it. Man know what that means, innit? I know he ain't coming to talk. The police statements that man's talking about are oh, um yeah, um, I was I was approaching him. Uh, the reason why I got out of my car is because I was approaching him to ask him why he threw the bottle of hand sanitizer out of my car. Anyway, so this is what happens, yeah. Like, anyway, it got to a stage where it was going to court and man had to take the G on it, yeah? Had to take the L on it. So anyway, so this girl's cut ahead of me now, yeah? I'm slightly digressing here as I, as I do. So this girl's cut, cut ahead of me, yeah? So I beat my horn. What the fuck you doing? I'm sitting there thinking, I should dash a ball at this girl's car, innit? But you know what? If she gets out and even tries to step, I'm going to finish off the job, innit? Anyway, boom, I left it. So anyway, this girl's gone ahead, paid for her food, because you order at the machine, and then you pay for your food separately, and then you have to go to the next window to collect your items. So she's paid. She's gone to the next window. I've gone to the window, paid. She's ahead of me. She's collected her items and bust out. I've gone ahead and um, I've gone to collect my thing in it. And then the chick was like, hold on a minute. What did you order? And I said, I ordered the cheeseburger. And she was like, oh my God, I gave your order to that girl in front. I said, you know why? That fucking idiot just drove in front of me when she wasn't supposed to. I felt like to lick out her windows and that, innit? Yeah? The girl was just looking like confused and that, innit? Anyway, what happened was, this is why there's instant karma. Because the girl jumped ahead of me when she wasn't supposed to. She probably paid five, six, seven, eight pounds for her meal, 
took the wrong meal because she jumped ahead of me and she, she busts out and that. So when she paid for, let's say she paid for, I don't know, a Big Mac meal, she just walked away with a double cheeseburger and that. So she wasted her money. So my girl was like, ah, oh, that's instant karma and that. I wasn't even giving a fuck about no karma. I thought like violate me, like nah, someone cut ahead of me. Blah, like, man, don't take no disrespect from no one. I'll put hands on you. Yeah, that's what man's like. Like, trust me, man's been the police in this area, they know about me. Man. I've been nicked like two times minimum. I've had police at my door bare times and that. Trust me. Yeah. But um, yeah, that's one time I'm like, yeah, that's instant karma, and that, or at least that's what my girl said in that. But I don't believe in karma. I don't feel like ah, oh, um, like a lot of people say, ah. Oh, the good die young and that blood everyone dies young good people bad people a lot of people die young and there's a lot of people who live long a lot of bad people that live long and a lot of good people that live long so i don't believe in no mystical force that is set to balance out the universe and that i don't feel like ah oh, karma comes to get certain people but it rewards others and that hey life is unfair isn't it yeah unfortunately there's people that have stabbed up and killed and murdered people for no reason and that live to age 80 and then there's some people who are good samaritans and that and live to age 30 so i don't believe in karma man